Welcome everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom wallet using your Coinbase wallet. So it's going to be a really easy process whether you're dealing with a new cryptocurrency or a unique token. This guide will walk you through the process step by step. So the very first thing you want to do is to understand the custom tokens. So before we dive in, let's understand these custom tokens. So the custom tokens, I'm going to open in Tablet Scout for, let's say, for example, just crypto. And I have now the coin market cap. So the custom tokens are cryptocurrencies not yet, not yet of course, recognized by the Coinbase wallet default list. So to interact with these tokens, you will need to manually add them into the wallet. So this process might be straightforward and essential for those holding niches or newly launched tokens. What are some custom tokens? If you, let's see, for example, want to check out which one it is. So inside the coin market cap, what you can do is to look out for uh, cryptocurrencies. Inside the cryptocurrencies, what you can do is to go for the option that says recently added. Into the recently added, you can see that we have a lot of cryptocurrencies that are totally new, added two days ago, two hours ago, three days ago, and so much more. So these are custom tokens, tokens that are newly and they don't have a lot of popularity though. If you want to add these tokens inside a Coinbase wallet, uh, what you want to do first of all is to set up your Coinbase wallet. So if you haven't already downloaded and set up the Coinbase wallet application from the App Store or the Google Play Store, if you're using a computer like me, what you can do is to use, to use the Coin Wallet as an actual extension. So now that I have access directly into my Coinbase wallet, what I wanted to do is to sign in or have chosen here my actual new token or wallet. So in this case, uh, what I need to do is to find the token contract address and of course the actual um, network they're going to be using for this token. So to add a custom token, we need to add a contract address. So this is a unique identifier for the token on the blockchain. And you can find the contract address on the token official website, white paper or reliable blockchain explorer like the Ethos can, or we are actually using the coin market cap. For example, I'm going to go here into my Coinbase wallet. And here you can see that we are using these actual wallet number one. So in here, I do have my Ethereum uh, new blockchain. So I'm going to select this blockchain, which is from Ethereum, Nero Ethereum. So I select this token, which is uh, have been added from nine hours ago. And what I'm going to be doing here is to uh, I'm going to try to add this directly into Coinbase. So to find the contract, we can see that here into the lab hall, we have this element that says context. So it says Ethereum, and we can have a from Trust Wallet and MetaMask. If I copy this from the clipboard, I now have access directly into the Etherscan. Into the Etherscan, I can see that here is the token Nero, and I have the overview of the token I'm going to add. So to add this custom token to your Coinbase wallet, I'm going to open my uh, Coinbase wallet and focus it into my main screen. So here, what you can do is to type directly into Cryptos. And here into Cryptos, we want to focus it into Add Tokens. At the top of the screen, we can scroll down and select Add a Custom Token. If you don't see it, what you can do is to try to find a new asset. Just in case you're not able to see how to add a custom token inside CoinMarketCap or into Coinbase Wallet, what you can do is to import your token into a new wallet so you can manage and add more elements. So in this case, this is my actual wallet. So if I see my recovery phrase, what I can do is to add this recovery phrase directly into MetaMask. So into MetaMask, I'm going to sign in and I'm going to choose my recovery phrase in order to sign in. Since I have already done this process, I'm going to just choose a passcode in order to have access directly into MetaMask. And the process to add a token is exactly the same. Just click directly into tokens. And here you can see that we now have the access that says import token. So I click in it and it says the option that says custom token. So if I paste my token address and I go for next before I hit into next, you can see that automatically it has been deployed token symbol, which is Nero. And the token decimal should be nine. This element should be checking out directly into the ethos cap. So hit now into next and go into import. Automatically, you can see that now your new token has now been imported directly into your wallet. And if you sign it out from the MetaMask and sign in directly here into Coinbase, you should see that now your assets should be available in here. If you don't see this asset, you can always go into settings 
and here focused directly into your account. Let's say for example, this here and here choose the option that says hide assets and make sure that the token that you have just selected is not hide. So enable it, go back into your assets and you're actually good to go. So as you can see, this is how we can actually do this process. And once verified, just verify the token appears correctly in your wallet. Check the balance. If anything looks off, double check it, the contract address and more information. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more great elements of how we can add, delete, modify and add more elements of your tokens directly into the coin market cap or directly here into the Coinbase wallet. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you can see you next time.